Right guys, so today we are playing Manchester United versus Liverpool behind me at Old Trafford. It's a very interesting day today, we've got a lot going on. We've got protests that are happening for the Glazers. Um, half, the, half the fan base are uh, split on that, some are going in, some aren't. Um, because of that, I'm going to go in just so I can make footage for you guys who don't have access to the highlights. I'm going in for you guys. I would have been outside right now, I thought I wouldn't want to go inside either. Um, but yeah, the Glazers are clever, they're very, very clever, the marketing's up there, that's why they're very good commercial-wise. Because what they've done, they know half the players, half the fans will not turn up to, to today to the to United game. So what they've done, they've gone and bought Casemiro. Big money signing, they brought him in, they're going to unveil him just at Varane, um a few minutes before kickoff. They get the crowd up and going, to get the crowd inside the stadium to try and save face, to try and create some sort of hype around the game, and try and take away the toxicity that surrounds them, that are the Glazers. And the big message is today, it's very clear, is Glazers that need to go. Their time is up here at Manchester United. We've suffered enough. We're not going to suffer any more with these guys. And I want them gone. We all want them gone. And hopefully, very soon, sooner or later, they'll be gone. They'll be out of here. That's, that's the main issue. So glad I um, got that out of the way. Now, coming up to the lineup, a shocking lineup, to be fair. So he's dropped, Ten Hag has dropped Maguire. Uh, he's brought in Martinez and he's brought in Varane the back. Okay, fair enough. And then he's got Ilanga playing up front and he's dropped Ronaldo and Marcel should have uh, heard Hussain starting but he's not even starting, he's on the bench. So Marcel and Ronaldo, two of our main threats I would think going forward. Um, I'm not sure if Ashford can do it again today. I said last time, last game, he's going to do it again today. I don't know. He has chances, he's got to finish them off. That's the main thing. Look at Liverpool squad, they've only got three strikers available. I'm not even seeing the lineup actually yet. But, um, well, probably it'd be Salah, Firmino and maybe Diaz. Big threat going forward. They've got a big threat. Diaz on his right foot is a massive threat. So covering him, it's going to be a good battle, isn't it? Um, with the wing backs. So we'll see how we play. With Liverpool, they're going to play a high line. United are going to try to play a high line. They're going to stretch the pitch. They're going to try and make it big for TAA and Robinson to move down the line. Yeah, that's fair enough. So we don't want what happened last year. We were here last year, guys. 5 0, 4 0 before half time, then going home. I just hope not today. I really hope not today. I really hope that they perform, they go some kahunas and get a fucking get a get a good result today. Cause all it matters. You know what I mean? A lot of guys, that's be real. We've lost two games. This is the third game going in. On paper, you think Liverpool are gonna win this game. But like I said, it's a North Northwest Derby, it's Liverpool United. Sometimes form does go out the window. Um, but not last season, last season Liverpool were all over us. Both home and away, so I don't know. I can't predict it. I can't predict this game. It's very hard for me to predict this game. Um, it's not going to be a very close game, but it's going to be a trashing um, from Liverpool to us. Right, what else have we covered today, guys? Is that it? Is that it? Are you ready to go inside? Are you ready to go inside? Oh, fuck going inside. I want to go inside. You want to go inside, guys? All right, just for you, we'll go inside. Come on. Let's fucking have them. Fuck his cows up, you
save.
Yes guys, so today we won the game 2-1, yes, Liverpool had more possession but United were there with the chances and finished them off nice and easy. Langer should have scored the first goal, hit their post, doesn't matter, we came back straight away pretty much and we scored the first goal in the first half. Um, Liverpool for their chances they didn't really create as much, um, they had the ball, they didn't really create as much but you know why, because Martinez was there sweeping up the ball, every chance they had, he was going for them, Martinez, he reminds me of Scrappy Doo. You know Scooby Doo's little brother, the little one, gives you all that. Ooh, that is Martinez. Why is I'm trying to shit? I'm a what? I'm a waffling. Make sure I'm the waffling. I don't like waffling me. But that's what he's like. Reminds me of. He was there. He was everywhere. Martinez. He was showing up. He was putting in from straight away, flipping off. Even though I meant to him. You see at the end of the game how he celebrated as well. Top tremendous, very tremendous game he had. Um, same with the left back Marcia. Played really good. The left foot switching the ball up. One of the balls, unfortunately, Van Dyke intercepted, but seeing that going forward, I think that's something he can improve on and he can become really good at. And defending as well, Salah obviously took him on a few times, but he recovered really well. He did the good recoveries to get the ball back and to stop the shots happening or to stop the ball going into the box. Great, great. So the first goal, <sighs> Sancho. Wow. He put Milner down, sent Alisson the wrong way, um, tapped it nice, nice and easy in bottom left corner. What a finish, what composure for the first goal. And also we need to send the nerves on a bit, but the message was still clear. We needed another goal or something. We couldn't believe it. I was coming to the game, I couldn't believe it. But yeah, one more goal that was coming through and it came from Rashford and Martial link up. Martial coming, I think, I thought he played phenomenal. Really did. He was there, nice, nice, easy, two, three touches, gets with the ball. He knows what he's going to do. He's very smart. He's, very, he's got that very high IQ with the football. He knew what he was going to do with the ball before he even gets the ball. And it's unbelievable play, watching him. And while well, kept himself onside for, uh, for the ball to Rashford, I think, I was looking at our start, I thought it was outside, but luckily we are, and uh, everything else, it was, it was onside. It was, it was a good goal. Um, so 2 0 up, another 35 minutes. I was still quite nervous, um, but yeah, we still tried to play well. We still, Liverpool, they weren't as sharp as United were on the ball. United were more sharper, Liverpool were more lethargic. They weren't really coming forward, attacking us, if, you know, if the world coming for us, we had it covered. 
great, great performance, great performance all around. Um, we had that position, but something to work on. The corners for us, I don't think are really good. I think when you saw our corners as well, especially our set pieces. I know you see Salah had to get his goal. He always goes against United. He got one today, scuffy goal, but you know it was a goal. Last five minutes of the game, very nervy, but we got there, we got through, we pushed through the guys, and now we're sitting above Liverpool. Lost two goal, lost two games, but it's the first win of Everton Hags ever, and what a win to have, and what a position to have against. Fantastic. So Scott Massami played really good today, and so did Ericsson and Bruno as well assisted. Nice and easy. At the first half, Bruno was really good, moving the ball about, and it was really good stuff. Um, but going forward, um, Kassim is going to come back for the next game, and uh, I was excited to see how that turns out. But the message is still clear. Glazers out. Get them out of this club. They need to go. Once they go, we'll be more days like this, more happy nights. Got work in the morning. It's nearly half time here, guys. Come on here behind you, need to go. He's got work at three in the morning. So, guys, on that note, I'll leave you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Until next time, we've got the win. I'll see you soon, guys. Come on, let's go back. Let's go.